when you bring everything that we have done over the past several months together, and I'm hardly spiking any footballs here, we are in the midst of the war, let there be no doubt. Whether that's our efforts to build a sizable PPE stockpile, our enhanced testing capabilities, our ability to move resources around at a moment's notice, and now giving our local governments the ability to take surgical action within their own borders, we are prepared to fight this second wave. But none of this, none of this can be successful unless every New Jerseyan also recognizes their responsibility in this fight as well. We cannot let up on social distancing, on wearing our masks, or on practicing strong hand hygiene. We have got to get back to the mindset that saw us crush the curve throughout the spring. Look at all the places where and ways in which this virus is spreading. We can get a hold of this if we can get back to what worked in the spring and stick to it. Especially with masks, the CDC has released updated guidance based on new evidence that wearing a mask is a stronger measure of protection than previously thought, protecting not just those people around the wearer, but the mask wearer as well. There is no reason whatsoever for us to stop wearing our masks. And yes, it, is, it also means that with Thanksgiving only two weeks away, we have to recognizing, recognize that this is not a year for a large family gathering with loved ones coming in, especially from out of state or across age groups, uh, or uh, conversely for you all to travel to visit someone else out of state. We strongly urge you to have a smaller gathering with just your immediate uh, cohabitants family bubble. Anything else you, anything else, and you are risking your dinner table becoming a COVID hotspot. And to put a fine point on that, let me go through our current reality. 3,517 new cases today. Cumulative total since March 4th, 266,986. 10,472 cases just since Monday. Essex County, more than 400 cases added today. Bergen, Passaic, and Union, over 300 added today. Camden, Hudson, Middlesex, and Monmouth, over 200. Five others, over 100. We now have confirmation with the heaviest of hearts that another 18 New Jerseyans have died from COVID-related complications. A total of 14,694 blessed souls lost with another 1,801 probable deaths.